Hey, what's up guys? I'm out here with my brand new Desert Precision Remex rifle. Shilling select match barrel, tuner, chassis, the whole deal. And quite simply, I just now turned the cameras on. This is the single most accurate rim fire I've ever fired in my life. Just a second, I'm gonna shoot you one five shot group and then I'll tell you why I went with this rifle and why I went with Desert Precision Gunworks. All right, here we go. Let me waste one in the dirt down there. Now, let's get to shooting. Come on, baby. Couple more. You already shot five. You already shot five. You already shot five. Dude, don't mess this up. Dude, don't mess this up. Don't mess this up. <laughs> okay, now stop. Not bad for a one eyed fat boy at a hundred yards. Hang on, there's still another one in there. Think before you do this. See if that's it. Still another, and I say we keep shooting. It's a 10 round magazine, dumbass. And here he is again. Here he is again. That's astonishing. Oh. It's absolutely. Yeah, I could definitely live with that. Uh, that was the last one. All right, now you might be thinking, how the hell did that fat son of a bitch end up with a rifle like this? Well, I've been messing with the rim fires here quite a bit lately, but I wanted something that would reach out there a little further, do it a lot more consistently, and I started doing a ton of research. Which, by the way, if you haven't priced one of these rifles, they're expensive. And I know a lot of guys, when they check on the price of this, they're gonna be, oh, hell no, I'm out. Whatever. You get what you pay for and everything. You can't get a Corvette for what a used Kia Soul cost. It's just the way it is. And look at it, the cool factors way up there. Let me tell you a little bit about the rifle. It's got a Masterpiece Arms chassis on it. Kenny has a guy that does custom painting. I wanted mine a little different, so it came out with this beautiful dark emerald metal flake, and I love it. And by the way, the finish is hard as a freaking rock. I put my Accutec bipod on it, my Arkin 5 to 25, and when it came to the barreled action, I got the Rim X, and I'm not regretting it anyway. I've shot it probably a hundred times today, 150, not one misfeed, not one malfunction, it never snapped. Everything's shot, I've shot three or four different ammos out of it and it works like a charm. Now the barrel he selected for me is a Schillen Select Match 24 inch and it's a heavy bull all the way down you can see in the pictures. And he also built me a tuner made out of solid brass that is cool as hell. Now he had shot it and got it tuned before I ever got it so I didn't have to fool with it. By the way, thanks Kenny for doing that. And the end result is something I can't tell you how proud I am of this thing. It is shooting incredible. I've been shooting the Ely Match out of it, Ely 10X, I shot some Ely Team, Ely Edge, and I shot some of the Ely Contact at 50 yards, and that stuff is selling for $5.25 a box right now. And believe me when I tell you, with my wife, it took a lot of convincing that I needed a rifle this expensive. And need is the word she threw at me. Did I need it? No. Am I tickled to death with it? Absolutely. Absolutely. But I wanted one real elite rifle. 
everybody deserves one really good sports car, one really badass four-wheel drive if you're from the South, and this is my expensive rifle. And it is everything I had ever hoped for. It's a beast. It's 100% a beast. And if you guys are interested, you can holler at Kenny. He's got a channel here on YouTube. It's Eagle Eye Shooting, and you can look him up online. It's Desert Precision Gunworks. Now, he has some guns that are already built. He's building a bunch of them. He does a lot of center fire stuff. The guy's a really in demand gunsmith for a reason. And I can tell you this, if I do have another rim fire built, that's where I'm sending my money, period. I'm not even gonna fool with anybody else. All of these guys that are shooting the NRL stuff that are super competitive and really kicking ass, so many of them are going to Kenny and now I understand why and I appreciate all those guys and all the advice that they've given me. I really appreciate you guys watching. And if you've got a little money, say, back in the piggy bank, I say do it. Get underneath that mattress. You know you got money in there. Take some of that money and go get you something like this. Or, or get one of those Bagar B14Rs that he's doing. He's rebarreling them, and he's taking the factory rifles and tuning them with the factory rifles to improve those also. Thanks for watching, guys. Kenny, you nailed it on this one, buddy. I appreciate you.